the first thing I would do, anytime you guys are dealing with rational expressions, is I would factor this. Okay? So I look at this and I say, all right, this needs to be factored. I'm not going to do the whole x and box method. I showed you guys how to factor. I'm going to try to do this in my head. So I'm going to look at, I know my two factors have to be x and 2x. And I also know that my last two terms need to multiply to give me negative 6. Um, so what I see here to give me 11, if I did 2x times 6, that would give me 12. And then if I had that as a 1, if I made that minus 1, that would give me 11. So I need to make sure this is positive. So I'm going to do plus 6. And then I'm going to make this a minus 1. And let's just double check that the math that I did in my head is correct. 2x times x is 2x squared. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. 1 times x is negative 1x. And 2x times 6 is positive 12x. Positive 12x minus 1 or plus negative 1x gives me a positive 11x. So I did the math in my head correctly. You should get practice on doing the factoring like this. However, if you need to do it the long way for right now, that's OK. But I got to move on. Over here, this one's a little bit easier to factor. We know the first two terms are always going to be x. Now I just need to figure out what two numbers multiply to give me negative 18, add to give me positive, positive 3. Well, I can say positive 3, positive 6, and negative 3. Right? Now, if I'm trying to subtract these, I'm just going to rewrite these below. Okay, I'll maybe like draw a line through them. I just change the denominators to their factored form. What's nice about their factored form is now I can identify what the LCM is. So the least common, because I can't subtract these because they're not the same, right? You guys agree? They're not the same. I can't subtract them. So what I need to do is write down the LCM. So the LCM, remember, is the least common multiple that this divides into and that divides into. So we know that for these both to divide into them, it has to contain an x plus 6, right? Then for this to divide into that, it also has to contain a 2x minus 1. And for this to divide into it, it also has to contain an x minus 3. So this is now my least common multiple. All right. Now all I'm simply doing, going to do to, um, to be able to subtract them you got to, you, you got to. You have to multiply so you can obtain your least common multiple. So what do I need to multiply this by to make it look like that? x minus 3. To produce equivalent e fractions, you need to multiply that in the numerator and the denominator. I need to multiply this by 2x minus 1 on the top and the bottom. Okay. So when I do that, I end up with the equ equation x minus 3 times x minus 1 all over x minus 3 times 2x minus 1 times x plus 6 minus 8x times 2x minus 1 all over x minus 3 times 2x minus 1 times x plus 6. Does everybody see what I did and how I did it? Now, since they have the same denominators, I can just rewrite this as 1. So this would be x minus 3 times x minus 1 minus 8x times 2x minus 1 all over x minus 3 times 2x minus 1 times x plus 6. Now, I can almost guarantee you guys, though, your final answer is not going to be in this format. Okay. What you will be expected to make sure you can do is FOIL this, distributive property with this, and multiply all three of those. Okay, So um, I think I ran out of, kind of ran out of space here, but I will show that off video for you guys. So just make sure you guys can do that. Yes?